Okay, uh, here's another quickie. What we're dealing with here is monopoly versus competition. Okay, now you know what competition is, but we'll come back to that. The difference between a competitive firm, like General Motors and Chrysler and so on, and a monopoly, like Florida Electric and Power, is a monopoly's ability to influence the price, in this case, electricity. No one else has any influence on a price. That price is set by the monopolistic company called Florida Electric and Power. Okay? Now, a competitive firm is a small relative to the market, uh, which compares to a monopoly. It takes the price as a given product, basically the given market price. For example, um, cable TV. There are options, Verizon, Comcast, Disc, so on. But basically, <clears throat> there is a set price out there that people are going to pay. Um, so competitors are really locked in to that set price. Unless they can offer further and greater advantages, the basic prices are the same. That's they're, they're called price takers. They take the price that the market has set, and that's just the supply and demand in the market. The competitor and the consumers decide that. Now, one way to view the difference between a competitive firm and a monopoly is to look at the demand curve. And each firm has a different command firm. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here. When they analyze the profit maximization of a competitive firm, like in the preceding chapters, they had a market price as a horizontal line right here. The perfectly competitive firm, again, as you can see, because the product, the competitive firm sells a product that has many substitutes, many substitutes, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, Royal Crown Cola, et cetera, et cetera. So the demand curve that any one firm faces uh, is pretty much elastic, okay? It's set, it's a horizontal. On the other hand, a monopoly, which is the sole producer of a product in the market, its demand curve is simply the market curve, as you look at it here, okay? The monopolist demand curve always slopes downward. If the monopolist raises the price of its good, consumers will buy less of it. Put it another way, the monopolist reduces the quality of output, quantity of output, and sells it sells it as the price increases. Okay? Look at me with my Comcast. I'm starting to cut the crap out of it. Same thing with my Verizon. I'm starting to cut the crap out of it. Because bottom line is the price is getting too high. So the market demand curves in both of those are compared in this graph. And that's essentially what you need to know about the demand curves for each.